What's going on, my infected friends? This is the King Hunter channel with another episode of War Combination. Oh my god, this game is so fun that uh, I just. I gotta continue making videos. <laughs> I know, even when my my schedule is quite tight at the moment, I just have to continue. Um, good news, remember the last video I showed you that the that the guild that I created, Game Hunter Infected, has only like a, I think four or five members. Now now we are 23. <laughs> so so I guess the last video was was a success. That uh, I'm really happy, really really happy. Um, I'm trying to assign a couple officers. What is the role of the officers? The officers can start a raid. The the officers, uh, yeah, basically they can start a raid. Um, and me, the leader, also can start a raid for the for the guild. Maybe you guys are asking, why do we need a leader or an officer to start a raid? The reason is because there there is many locations in the map for raids. For example, Los Angeles, Honolulu, and we also have Buenos Aires right here. For just give you a couple examples. So if you have your if you have your, you know, I'm gonna start one in. Uh, no, we're gonna start one in probably Los Buenos Aires. Let me see. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna start this one. Okay, because this one is for 24 hours. The one for Los Angeles is only uh, eight hours. No, three hours. Three hours, right? Or something like that. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tell my people. Right in. Buenos Aires Go infected Go Okay, perfect So Because you need to have some kind of control Not control, just organization in your guild um, If everybody can start a raid <clears throat> You're gonna have some members attacking Los Angeles You're gonna have some members play attacking Honolulu some other Buenos Aires for giving an example and you won't be able to reach the, the the rewards that you need okay for example in tier 1 in Los Angeles we can get a 145 DNA and a, probably one uncommon infect and a couple of some extra cards but once you start reaching some other level look at this you start getting coins also you start getting some much much better um, rewards and drops See, if you go to the tier 3, we can also get epic infected. So that's why it's important to focus the whole attention, the whole uh, efforts of the guild in one raid in particular. Okay, so that's why the leaders are, the leader and the officers are the one in charge of calling the shots, basically. All right, so in this episode, basically, I just want to wanna clarify that. I want to say thank you once again to everybody for joining the Game of Hunt Infected. We're going to have a lot of fun. We still have plenty of space in there. So if you want to join me, just send me a request. It should be. I think it's open. I think I put it that it's open for everybody. The only thing that we changed was the minimum level. We're going to probably change it. I just put eight. I mean, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to be as open as possible. Because my, my, my plan, my idea, my philosophy is always trying to help players. So um, I'm not trying to get the top players in the war of war domination. Just trying to get a bunch of cool people who wants to learn, who wants to have fun and everything. So, uh, well, that's what I do in my channel, right? So I want to continue do, doing this in this game too. So the guild is open for everybody. Um, all right. So what we're going to talk in this episode. Oh, by the way. I was able to get the speeder level 14 see so now the production in DNA is 41 DNA per hour with a maximum of 624 so it's completely completely worth it to continuously upgrade your infected units okay I would strongly recommend you to focus in some basic uh, infected unit like the speeder like the the Brutus Brut? Brutus why did I call it Brutus man <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a couple the, the delivery man the runner okay those are like a really common infected but the cool thing like I mentioned in my previous video there is drops of those 
in fact it's like pretty much in every every raid or every attack that you do so it is quite easy to to level up the characters because remember once that you reach level 9 and you want to jump to level 10 you're gonna require an extra unit for example if I wanna uh, move my speeder from level 9 to 10 I need two speeder the one that is level 9 and one which could be in any other level to allow me to upgrade my unit so that's why it's critical but <clears throat> in this episode I just want to show you a couple of units because people were asking me okay what should I do should I upgrade this one should I go with this one what is a good balance team with infected at the beginning all right um, units that are key in this game are probably well dr. zombie wits and everybody has access to dr. zombie wits to try to upgrade dr. zombie wits the third right now <laughs> as much as possible because I uh, look at the stats in the screen it has some decent damage 89 which is actually really good it has building damage too of 89 not all the units do extra damage against buildings okay except for the exception of the foreman and the uh, the pit boss for example the pit boss also has some damage against uh, building um, and notice this especially this particular epic infected that the damage their normal damage is three so it's really bad against humans but the damage against building is 12 so it's really cool to have a pit boss in front of you bringing down those barriers and and um, yeah so you so you can allow the the rest of the the infected to keep moving forward right these guys really bring down obstacles in two seconds they're quite quite powerful and now I'm gonna start upgrading my pit boss because finally I got a second pit boss you see so I have two epic pit boss and now it's gonna be worth it for me to invest some of my DNA to upgrade this unit okay um, okay so let's go back zombie witch zombie witch is critical like I say it has all the all the good attributes really powerful melee attacks uh, the health is high the armor is high this is just, it's like a no-brainer so the, I will recommend you to put some of those DNA post a uh, point into zombie with as early as possible okay the other units that is really convenient to upgrade at the beginning uh, let me go back because it's one of the basic ones is the infector okay the infector what it does uh, it revives all the dead humans and turn it into drones okay it's like you say in the description right there is races falling humans as drones uh, why this is important especially when you just started that means that for example for each human that the that infected guys this kill um, the infector is gonna go back and revive um, Let's say for one human, I think there is four drones that I can, uh, you can create with the infector. So that is good. That is really good because you can have some backup drones in case a mission is getting too tough. All right, um, you can have the infector ready to to revive some of those fallen humans and get some more drones for you. Right. So that's what is important. The cool the, and the, the the thing that you need to be careful is that the. Um, the health point of the infectors are quite low so usually you may want to keep it in the back of your team this is let's call it like a the doctor okay i think it's the it's the equivalent to the surgeon or the paramedic of the survivors probably the paramedics mm. but it, it's good to keep this guy in the back okay because if you see the damage that it does it's quite decent not too bad damage 10 uh but the, the main 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 factor of the infector is to revive those humans and convert them into drones okay so that's another unit that you have to have to master okay uh, the other one that is important to have hopefully upgrade as much as you can um, using the speeder remember this is one of the basic units also quite common infected it has a decent range and that's what is so important. Look at the maximum range of 36. 36. Let's compare this one with the with the puddler. It's only 30. Sprayer uh, range is 12. 36 is the range of the speeder. So this is a really useful middle range, long range infected to back you up your troops. Okay. 
very very important to upgrade this guy it's gonna save you a lot I think that a more evolved version is the the filer because it has the same attribute the same range distance like the speeder I got this one it's rare I upgraded to level 8 but I'm not using it anymore because I can't upgrade it I don't have another uh, the filer with me so that's why I decided to hold it for a little bit and I start upgrading the common speeder why well number one is really cheap to upgrade this guy that is one of the, another advantage of a great common infected and the other reason is because I have a bunch of speeders <laughs> so I can continue upgrading this guy and get the other perks you see you can get to until level 50 which is just insane um, right now I got it with level 10 no, it's level 14 this guy yes and the second perk that I got is the tree speed occasionally rapidly shot three times in a row but then has to recap okay so depending on uh, probably for the other speeder that I'm gonna have I'm gonna give you the viscosity with the speed travels 65% faster and then you can combine a little bit okay but the speeder is really useful it's useful for the game itself for you it's useful because it's cheap to evolve let's see I don't know if I'm evolving right now one of those Mm, no, I'm not doing that. I'm doing the infector and trying to upgrade the infector too because I have too many. Um, and it's a, like I say, it's a quite useful, useful, useful. Um, let me see. Infected. Uh, what is the? I don't see it here really because I don't have enough resources. Ba -ba -ba, I was looking for the speeder. No speeder, speeder. You want to play? No speeder. Should be supposed to be in the top. Maybe because he's collecting resources. Shouldn't. But anyway, let's 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 take a look. See, we're gonna remove the speeder. There you go. Speeder out. Oh, can can see, can see save changes. Yes. And now let's go to a evolution chamber. Uh, now I see the speeder again. You see. Um. Now, now number one, I got the. The, the guild perk once that we reach level I think it's level 5 or 4 I think it's level 5 there you go when you get uh, to level 5 the guild low cost leveling 5% discount in unit leveling so that's another reason for you to join a guild because you're gonna start receiving some perks extra XP um, cheaper upgrades and stuff like that so it's quite 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 useful so if we go over here to evolve, I know I'm not gonna evolve this speeder because it's already level 14. I'd like to continue upgrading some other ones. Um, and this one, you see, with the discount, it's not expensive. It's 14.52 in DNA, which is not that bad. If I try to upgrade my, well, the, my dreadnought is only level nine, to be quite honest. But in general, it's a lot more easy, it's simpler, simpler to upgrade common, common, and infected units we're gonna continue because i was upgrading one guy where is it not the goliath i guess well i'm missing the colossus too let me go back and send the there you go let me send back the speeder perfect i'm missing a colossus oh there you go i got a colossus level 10 oh i forgot all the these guys are at the bottom all right right there um colossus is also uncommon but it's quite easy to find compared with some other infected units and the cool thing about the the, the colossus why is probably a good idea to upgrade this guy is because the hit points i can see it. let me go back this is a sponge man <laughs> this guy is gonna receive damage and he's not gonna flip a finger not even nothing nothing is so so powerful in the in the amount of basically the amount of hit point that he has so it's a good unit to have in front of your troops quite quite useful unit it doesn't the damage is just normal 21 is quite low to be quite honest but it's very very high health okay so it can you can soak a lot of the damage in, instead of um, seeing some of the the rest of the drones going down 
where you put this game from and it can help you okay so this is another unit that you can probably upgrade since the beginning when you if you have it otherwise you can go for the brute the brute is also um probably a lower class of the colossus see this also had the same attributes but the the health points are of course are lower the the colossus is a uncommon unit and the brute is just a regular unit so that's one of the differences okay but it's quite important quite important to have one of these big guys either the brute either the goliath or the colossus it's completely necessary to have those guys in front okay the other units are quite useful are the titan or the dreadnought why okay well you might probably say hey the health point hit point of these guys are not that great uh, 275 for the titan 330 for a level 9 dreadnought okay but here is the key of this unit they have armor so they can resist damage against gunfighter for example or outlaws they're not going to do anything to this guy so if you deploy this unit at the right moment you can bypass a group of upgraded gunfighters like nothing and nothing's gonna happen so that's the big difference between titan dreadnought and the colossus brutus or brute okay uh, medium medium hit points decent damage but armor armor and that is the key okay so if you have a chance try to start upgrading one unit one melee unit with armor that's going to help you a lot putting this guy in the front also uh, for example if you are attacking a corridor and at the at the, at the end of the of the of the hallway you see that is a there's a bunch of gunfighters well put the titan put the drag down in front they're going to receive and they're not going to receive any damage that's what i'm trying to say because all the bullets are going to get deflected thanks to the armor and then all the drones behind these guys <laughs> are going to be just completely untouched so it's a really powerful combination okay that's just what i'm trying to do in this video trying to teach people um some combinations some basic basically like a basic tutorial okay and after that everybody can just move ahead and keep going just gonna give you the first first ropes okay another unit is important and i know it's not easy to get okay uh the assassin if you have the assassin upgrade the assassin as much as you can it's an epic character uh which cannot be seen until he attacks this is a critical unit to kill uh, machine guns and sniper unit critical you can just in, in two seconds be in front of those guys and kill them um, and they're not going to they're gonna be completely undetected until they attack very very nice troop very nice unit uh, the other one is uh, patient zero but it's probably easier to find the biohazard biohazard is quite I know it says that it's a rare unit but I will say that it's quite quite common to find I mean I haven't, haven't had any problems to find this unit I'm going to raise soul a couple because that's because a mega mistake when <laughs> I found this guy a couple of times when I was just starting playing the game and because I didn't know how the evolution was working I didn't know that for for evolving some units you need to have some other of the same kind so but anyway the biohazard or the patient zero they have both the same special attribute and that is because they have a cloud to surround these units okay and they're gonna uh, do damage to any unit that is close to that cloud this is a perfect perfect infected to be like put it like in the middle yeah in the middle of the horde probably it's a good idea to put the uh, this uh, biohazard why because well the help is not that great okay the hill is not 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 that great but what it does and it does really good uh, with that cloud that surround the biohazard or the patient zero uh, you're gonna be able to reach uh, enemies in front of you and you don't, don't need to touch them just the cloud is gonna start uh, killing them you start uh, uh, taking taking down their help the, their hit points so it's quite quite useful this when you find a corner and you see that it's pro or you see a, a bar a barrier and then on the other side you see some snipers but put a biohazard in there and then the cloud is gonna go through the through the wall and the 
survivor units in the other side well they're gonna get infected and die <laughs> simple as that biohazard another another really cool cool troop uh, the mortician is another one that i like um what it does it revive all the special infectors that you have this is like a real doctor you can probably put it that way it takes time for this unit to uh, revive uh, infected but the cool thing is that if you have a troop, if you have your army built into hit point, um, heavyweight guys like the Dregno, the Goliath, the the Colossus, unit like that, they're gonna receive a lot of damage. But once that they die, you can have the Mortician in the back reviving those guys. <laughs> so you can have a really deadly, deadly, deadly armor army. So pay attention to that one. It's compl It's very, very, very important to 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 master if, if you have the mortician like i say it's quite useful to create like an army of uh, uh heavy heavy troops and have the mortician at the back just reviving once the, those infector dies it's just perfect i uh, got a bunch of uh, other epic units and uh, some of the for example the the full mouth I can't really upgrade this unit even when it looks extremely powerful this is like an upgrade version of the what is the name I, I always forgot the sprayer um, but unfortunately I don't have um, I only have one so I, I'm gonna probably upgrade it but um, I'm not in a rush and the the sis pool also is also another this pool is an upgrade version an epic version of the butler so that's another unit I would love to upgrade. I'm gonna start upgrading, like I said, little by little. But I'm not that crazy about those units because I don't have a uh, another of those uh, infected that I can use for evolution. Their devils quite useful. Uh, probably if you go into the cheap version of the dirt devil, I think the dirt devil is the stun man. Stun man is quite it's uncommon, but you know what? It's quite easy to get it. Uh, what it does, it bypass the the walls. He leaps over the walls. So um, when you have a, a wall separating the infected and the other side, you have, for example, snipers. Use this stun man in there. It's gonna take care of business in two seconds. Another interesting unit to upgrade. So keep that in consideration when you start building your army. Probably it's good to have one of those stuntman upgraded. The the epic version of the stuntman I believe is called the uh, the Daredevil. Okay, this is the epic version of the stuntman. Um, and like I said, that's that's just wanted to give you a, a basic idea. Um, let me see my army that I'm using. I'm trying to diversify and train some new new units um, to see how they perform. Right now I'm keeping like a couple heavy hitters. My melee combination is the Colossus, Zombie Wits, the Titan, but of course I got the Dreadnought in, in uh, waiting for it. Um, got the Goliath also that I can replace any of these units. So that's a cool thing. Um, besides this first or starting lineup, I have another group of zombies in high level so I can continue playing. I don't need to stop. If I want to go play three missions with this one, no problem. Then I come back and I can deploy the other group and they can help me to grow faster all right so let me try with a couple of troops i'm gonna probably let me get rid of this guy let's put the mortician in there and i'm gonna keep the assassin so i can show you that in action the titan also zombie wits colossus uh the butler probably we can try i haven't seen this guy in action the zespool so let's take a look even when it's level one Right away, it brings down the team power to 685. Before that was higher, but now this this the Sispool is just level one, so it's only contributing with 15 to the team power. Not that great, but now <laughs> patience here 110, close 140, 140 zombie with 115, 90, and 75. Okay, let's get into action. Let's go to one mission and try to collect more brains. Because when you go into raid mode, when you go for a raid, I'll show you right now, uh, you're gonna be spending DNA. I oh, know, DNA or raid? Uh, let me remember, hold on, there's a warrior here too. Oh, the one in Tokyo, yeah, we were fighting in Tokyo, so it's a war going on in there. Um, and the war is gonna be active for another extra eight hours, and depending on the location, depending on the position that you're finished, um, 
once the war is over, you're gonna receive a special, special reward. Pretty cool that it's different events all over the place. PvP, they keep they keep doing some good good stuff. Really happy with these guys. All right, let me upgrade something else in the meantime because I don't like to waste my time in here. Kind of probably I'm gonna continue probably with Infector. It's quite cheap to upgrade, so and it's gonna help me. It's gonna help me a lot. <coughs> All right, so we can probably. I'll probably go to Los Angeles. Oh, let's go to Tokyo. I know. Probably it's not a. I'm not gonna get that many resources or anything in here. It's quite expensive. You see, it's 1,200 uh, to fight in Tokyo. But the rewards are quite good. Let me see. Ooh, interesting. I can get a. These are the kind of troops that I can get from my teammate. Biohazard level 10, level 4, or what is this? A brute level 6. I think I'm gonna take the biohazard. Thank you. Yeah, and let's get into action. We're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to show you um, where is a good time to deploy this unit. Uh, sometimes it's not necessary to deploy all the units in one go. Sometimes it's good to have such like a surprise moment. So that is uh, something that you're gonna be learning little by little. And also remember, there's some special uh, the flare. They have the the steam pack. They have the we have the zombies that are coming from the ground. Those are special perks or attributes that we can use also during the game. But uh, let's see, let's analyze this. Spec Ops, Paramedic or Surgeon. Um, I don't know if these are Lumber guys or Lumber Beast, I don't remember. So more middle range, not too bad. Analyze this other area again. These guys are easy, easy target for the Titan that we have. So having a unit with armor in your army, <laughs> even when it sounds kind of repetitive, is quite, quite, quite useful. All right, so I'm going to deploy a couple of units in here, and I'm going to show you that I'm going to deploy the Titan in front. Look at that little chill. That's every time that they're trying to attack my Titan. He's not receiving any damage from the Spec Ops. It's a spongy, spongy, reflecting everything. There wasn't any problem at all to bring down the first group. I'm gonna deploy a couple more because I don't wanna get the seas pool in front. Now it's a good time to put the patient zero. So it's gonna start creating that awful, awful cloud of infection. Now we got a Colossus in front. The Colossus can fight against those lumber guys because of the hit points. So we shouldn't have any problem bringing down those guys perfect we haven't used any of the special attributes um, the steam or the flare or anything I'm gonna put another no I don't need to put another one look at the Titan the Titan keep receiving damage but it's not receiving damage at all I'm gonna use the steams to bring down those spec ops in two seconds I, I like the Colossus with the, the the other attribute that I put in the Colossus uh, is helping I mean it increase the size of the Colossus in 45% and it looks so cool now look at that <laughs> like a twice the size of the Titan it looks like the what is the name of that character of Ghostbuster the movie the marshmallow <laughs> character yeah it looks like that so good so huge so nice okay so now we're gonna use in this one let me deploy this and I'm gonna deploy the ninjas or assassins in front Look at that. Look at the assassin. The assassin is not going to receive any damage until it gets close. Once they start attacking, it's going to start receiving damage. No problem. The assassin is deadly. It does so much damage. It's just crazy. If you have the assassin, please listen to me. Start leveling up that troop right away. Okay? All right, fellas, this is, was uh, another episode of War Zombie Nation Infected. I hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh, nice. Colossus. I love having Colossus. <laughs> um, and please, if you have any question or anything, just post in the commentary section. I'm going to try to help you as fast as I can. And don't forget, try to join the Game Hunter Infected Guild, still active, and with plenty of space for all you, my subscribers of the channel. Okay? I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.